New tonight, you may soon have to start paying for parking at one of San Diego's most popular beach destinations. Hundreds of parking meters are expected to go up in Pacific Beach by the end of the year. Fox 5's Kelsey Christensen joins us live from PB with the plan and reaction from business owners. Kelsey. Yeah, meters could be up in uh, just a few months or even less, and they're going to be right here in the business district. Say goodbye to free two hour parking in Pacific Beach, at least in the business district. That's because the San Diego City Council recently approved a plan to put up two hour parking meters in PB. Marcella Bothwell, Pacific Beach Town Council president, says the plan just needs one last stamp of approval from the Coastal Commission. It's going to be $1.25 an hour. You know, two hours, 250. Bothwell plays a hand in deciding the new parking meter rules in PB. That's because she has two council members on the Pacific Beach Community Parking District, comprised of both city officials and community groups, that will choose how the new paid parking will work. So far, the plan is to add about 300 parking meters in this area of PB, mostly on Garnett Avenue, where you find bars, shops, and restaurants. Bothwell says the hours to pay could be from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. We also think that it's going to help the business district because right now we have free two hour parking, but everybody parks along Garnett and then walks to the beach. And so our businesses then don't have open parking spaces. So this is going to increase the turnover for our businesses. Some businesses told Fox 5 they agree that parking meters will up business because customers will be revolving quicker. Others, like Woodstock's Pizza, have some concerns. With the free parking, a lot more people might be going back to our lot and just taking up our spots that are reserved for customers who are coming in because then if customers have trouble finding parking, they will be then, you know, they don't want to come in the store anymore. City documents show money from the meters could help fund a shuttle service and trolley connections. Bothwell says they also want to use the money to build safer crosswalks. Now there is some concern that parking is going to be overcrowded just next door, maybe on Grand Avenue, neighboring streets uh, where parking is going to be free. I'm told the parking advisory is going to keep a close eye on that. Kathleen. All right, Kelsey, a lot of people are going to be reacting to this one. Thank you so much.